gosh, I'm nervous about this. Okay. Heather, whoa, we made it. It seems like yesterday I had this sick feeling in my stomach on the way to St. Louis with Sam and Christina. Although some, you, might chalk that feeling up to the copious amount of food I was stress eating before hitting the road. Obviously it was because I knew what lay ahead. Christian, I cannot believe this day has finally come. I feel like I've been waiting to become your wife for quite some time now, and I'm so grateful today is the day. If you had told me years ago that I would someday marry the Christian Bowling, I likely would have laughed. What I would not have known is the amazing man you are beneath the appearance I saw. When I think back to what I thought of you before knowing you, I still get a funny feeling in my stomach. You were this very cute older boy with all the personality and charm. Today, I get to marry the man that the cute boy became, and I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Welcome, friends and family. Thank you so much for being here. We're here to celebrate. We're here to witness uh, this expression of love in its purest form. And we're here because we love Christian and Heather. I wasn't nervous because of any doubts I had about popping the question, fears that you might say no, or concerns that I had about our compatibility. I was nervous because after 29 years of searching, I truly found the perfect partner for my soul. <laughs> it's <happy>. it's not sad. <laughs> and that weekend was the accumulation of an incredible three-year journey that left zero doubts in my mind that you were the one for me. I cannot tell you how blessed I feel to be able to have the role and title of being your wife. Of all the titles I wear and roles I am in, this one is by far the most important to me and the one I am most proud of. You are the man I have hoped and prayed for for some time. I wonder if someone like you even exists. What matters today is that when the sun goes down, I'll be your husband and you'll be my wife. My gratefulness knows no bounds. First, I'm grateful to God. I can't even begin to find words to thank the big man upstairs for placing me in my life. As we're about to say our vows, you truly are the best gift he's ever given me. When I speak those words today at the altar, know that I mean every syllable with every ounce in me. Second, I'm grateful for our families. I'm thankful for our parents for raising us to be the people we are today. Today, I'm committing to be your person. While we take vows today and publicly commit to do life together for me, this has been our reality for quite some time. I knew I wanted to be your wife early in our relationship. I knew you were special and shortly after moving to St. Louis with you, I was even more positive that this was it for me. I knew back then that you are my person and each day since has only made me more confident. All right, Christian and Heather, because of your vows and this piece of paper we have signed, before your friends and family and a holy God, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride.
despite 2020 sending us seemingly constant stream of knockout blows because of today, it will still be my favorite year ever. In a world where everything can be so certain, you're the one thing that I will always be sure of. You at the altar. P.S. I love you. No matter what, I will always be your biggest fan. I will be beside you through all the wonderful experiences life will bring us and through the hardships we will face. I will always be there to encourage you when you're down and to help get you back up. <laughs> I will never stop supporting you and empowering you to continue to grow and chase your dreams. I will always encourage you to pursue what makes you happy <sighs> and do whatever God has in store for you. Most importantly, I will love you, support you, and cherish you for the rest of your lives. No matter how much time we are given, it truly will never be enough. <laughs> yeah, the author, Herbie.